Question 30. Explain in terms of bonding why potassium chloride conducts electricity when molten, but not when solid. Okay. So first thing you have to say is, well, what kind of bonding is it? So potassium chloride is an ionic compound. So it's ionic bonding, obviously. So when solid, the ions are, fixed, are held in fixed positions in the crystal. So there are no free charges to carry electrical current. There are no electrons because they're all held together in each ion. And each of the ions is stuck in place because it's in crystal form. Okay? So there's nothing that can move around to conduct electricity. However, when molten or aqueous, the ions are freer to move, they're free to move, and so can carry electrical current because they can because the charges are free to move um, from place to place. Okay. So explain why copper is a good conductor of electricity. Well, copper has metallic bonding. So metallic substances contain delocalized electrons. Okay, so there's delocalized electrons, that's the key. These electrons are free to move and can thus carry electrical current. So because each of these electrons is free to move, there are free charges which allow the, the metal to conduct electricity. Okay. And part C, explain why iodine is a poor conductor of electricity. Well, iodine is a non-metal and it has molecular covalent bonding. So each molecule consists of two atoms held together by strong covalent bonds, and the molecules are held together by weak dispersion forces. Okay. There are no free electrons because they're held together in the bond, and no ions, so there's nothing that can carry electrical current, so it doesn't conduct electricity. Okay.